What's going on guys? My name's Corey. Welcome back to Benchworks Garage. Today I'm going to give you a little bit of an update on what's going on with all these cars. And this disaster. So we've been short on space as we're unpacking things from cars, working on things, and we needed to organize a bit. So we're working on organizing the shop a bit at the moment, but we're getting there. Uh, tractor's still running and the uh, receiver showed up today so we can start moving some cars and trailers around. 300L, uh, that car is nearly ready to start. However, one of the fuel lines passes from the outside of one of the frame rails to the inside and runs through the rail to the back of the car and it has rubbed through. So as that car turns over, it's actually drawing up air through that little pinhole in the fuel line. So we're going to be working on getting that taken care of tomorrow. The Wildcat. Wildcat is basically ready to start. We need to still sort out getting um, the old fuel out of that car. And the brake master cylinder arrived today. But the car should be ready to start. And hopefully with the new master cylinder, that will be ready to move under its own power and uh, we can start working on the rest of the reconditioning for that car as well. The Savoy, update there. Uh, we're almost ready to put the license reproduction front rear bumpers on this. We have had a, a bit of a stall in the color correction, paint correction on this car. The gentleman that was working on it has had some things come up, so he's a little behind the eight ball there. Um, but we're going to be working on the brakes on Thursday, and we're really hoping that we can expedite that and get that car ready to hit the market. We're really close on that car, and it's just such, such a cool car. So I'll be sure to post a full video on that when we get there. Newport. The uh, new wind intake arrived. The 1406 Edelbrock carburetor arrived. Uh, 1406, 1407, I'm, I'm drawing a blank now. But uh, 650, four barrel, uh, wind aluminum intake. This car ran well. Uh, however, it had the cast iron two barrel intake and two barrel carburetor, of course. And it just didn't really stretch its legs up top. There's plenty of torque and power there to really make this car a pleasure to drive. And it was a bit neutered, if you will, using that previous intake and carburetor. So that's gone uh, or going. We're in the process of switching things over now. That's going to be ready very, very soon. Camaro, I have found the front and rear glass for this car. The side glass is actually in the doors and the door panels are in the trunk along with the trim for the front and rear glass. So this car is actually going to be nearly complete. Now again, this is one of the cars that we had intended to sell as is. We have not tried to turn it over. We've not tried to start it. We haven't tried to do any of uh, that stuff, but the big wild card here, if you will, is the glass, the trim, that sort of stuff, and it's there. And we're getting ready to put that stuff in in the next few days. 68 Roadrunner, this is one of the cars that we were missing and located a few weeks ago. Um, we're still working on sorting out what it is we intend to do with this car. I'll give you an update when we sort that out. GTX, GTX is getting ready to head over uh, to the paint shop in the next few days here and we're going to be taking this back down we're really going to cut into the the little bit of filler that's in it in two spots really and take that out in and start fresh we're going to make this car right the car's worth making right and so i i'm really excited to see how this comes out unfortunately somebody had put aftermarket headers in this car and those aftermarket headers do not allow you to take the starter out while those headers are in the car. 
The starter was working, the starter motor at least, but there is a solenoid in these cars that kicks a fork out to engage the gear on the flywheel. That was not operating. We needed to replace the starter with one of the newer, uh, more reliable units. And you can't do that with these aftermarket headers in the car. But we wanted to put the original parts back in it anyways. So my dad was just out here, cut all of the exhaust off the car. So now we can access that starter, get it in, um, go through the carburetor, get it fired up, and get it ready to head to the body shop. GTO is still on hold for the time being, but this is a car that we have not yet featured. We brought this back two days ago. This is a 65 Impala. It is a big block uh, stick car, if I recall correctly. Yeah, sure enough. The gentleman who owned all of these cars really had a um, preference for big black stick cars, and this is no different. There's quite a bit of the trim in the trunk. We're already working on locating some of the replacement parts that are not there, but this is a really a very cool. A 65 Impala big black stick car. It's going to be a, a, a really cool project for somebody, so we're excited to um, assess what's here, sort out what's not, figure out if we're going to be able to uh, get this thing started or we're going to sell it as is. That's something that's going to be coming in the next few days. PJ has not moved in uh, a week now or so. Um, we're not quite ready to market that car, but we're also not doing any work on that either. I'm going to be starting in the next few days here on doing some surveying and leveling back here to create a 20 by 40 uh, slant roof carport just so we can stick some stuff under here to keep it nice and dry if we need to, if there's glass missing, that sort of thing. Because for the time being, keeping everything covered up when rain comes through, I'm in West Michigan, that happens fairly often in the summer. Uh, that's a priority for us. The Impala SS Big Block car. We are still working on tracking down some parts for this that we believe to be at one of the uh, properties that had cars there. And as soon as I've got all of the parts that I believe um, belong to this car, I'll be making a video talking about that specifically and sorting out whether or not we intend to go through the car, sell it as is, whatever the case may be. Maybe we're gonna try to start it, maybe we won't. You know, I just can't say for sure before we find the rest of these parts. 64 Cadillac, we are waiting on a 60 series reproduction battery for this car. However, this car does start, run, and we have found a second interior for this car. The carpet in the trunk that goes to this car is in nice shape. We've got door panels. We were looking for the only missing piece of the interior at the time uh, was the lower portion of the front seat because the front seat is a 40-20-40. We believe that we found that. We've been uh, talking with a, a reproduction company about the convertible top for it, but it doesn't make much sense to put a convertible top over, um, you know, metal in this condition. So, of course, we want to go through the hydraulics, make sure all of that is in good condition. And if it is, then pull these um, supports and do a media blast and then coat them in something like a Delfleet to protect them, make sure that they're going to last um, and are up to snuff and, and look well. We still haven't found the skirts, but... I'm confident we are going to find them. So that is the update for tonight. I hope you guys uh, are enjoying the process that we're going through trying to track down all of these vehicles. It's been a lot of fun for all of us, a lot of work, but uh, we really enjoy the comments that we've received on these cars. It's not lost on us that this really is a once in a lifetime find. And I appreciate all of your uh, views, comments, subscribing, giving likes on the videos. It's been 
just an overwhelming boost in our ambition to share this with all of you. We, of course, enjoy it, but knowing that other people can enjoy this as well and make comments about uh, how much they like uh, the 300L, they had one in high school, or their parent had one in high school, or whatever the case may be, that's really, really cool. We appreciate those comments and we enjoy sharing it with you. So if you haven't already, please consider subscribing, drop a like, send a comment. So thank you very much. I hope you all have a wonderful evening and enjoy.